Hey everyone, my name is Nick Pavlov and I am one of the consultants here at Syntida. In our previous video we had a short introduction to Microsoft Fabric. Now in this video we will create a Fabric workspace, then we will build a lake house and start uploading some files into it. Currently Microsoft Fabric is on the public preview stage and is temporarily provided free of charge when you sign up for a free trial. As you can see, I already started the preview. You can go to Microsoft Fabric page for more information. To start a preview trial, you must have an existing Microsoft BI license. So if you have that, navigate to your account settings in the top right corner and start the trial right here. This will ask for your email and phone. Next, agree with the terms and conditions and then select start trial. Once you click that, your capacity will be prepared. That means you have Microsoft Fabric. Next, what you're gonna do, go to your Power BI, and then go to your workspaces and click Create New Workspace. Once you're here, you can give the name and the description and even the picture for your Microsoft Fabric workspace. So fill all of that and then go to advanced settings and then here you have to make sure to choose the trial version like you can see that I I pick that one right and then click apply this will create a fabric workspace if you go to workspaces you can make sure that your your workspace is created and your workspace should have a little diamond icon in here once you created your fabric workspace you can start creating all different kinds of fabric elements in that workspace. If you click on the new button right here and then select it show all, this is going to show you everything that is available for you right now. A lot of data engineering tools, data factory, obviously Power BI, etc. Real-time analytics. I want you to click to lake house preview and then give it a name. Let's give this demo lake house. And let's create this. This lake house will be created in my fabric workspace. A lake house is created for data engineering purposes. It can store large volumes of data for cleaning, querying, reporting, and of course for sharing. When you create a new lake house, a SQL connection endpoint will be automatically created. This endpoint allows you to query data using the SQL language. Essentially, it's just a connection string that you can use to query data. If you go to settings, you can see that this is your connection string of your SQL endpoint. So there are two storage options in Lakehouse. There are tables and files. Tables can be queried using external tools like SQL Server Management Studio, for example, SSMS and tables will be located in the tables folder. And files are just regular raw files like CSV, Excel, JSON, etc., which can be stored in your lake house, but they cannot be queried like tables until they're turned into tables folder where they can be converted into the Delta Parquet format. So let's go ahead and populate our lake house with a couple of files. Let's click to get data and then select upload files. Let's indicate where our files are located. I have two sample files here, CSV and then Excel. Let's load the CSV file first. Let's do upload. And my CSV file will get uploaded to my lake house into the files storage. If I close this, I can see that now that my CSV file is in the files section right here. If I click on a CSV files, I can preview its content. So if I click on it, I can see that this is my data, you know, in this file. Now let's go ahead and upload an Excel file. I'm going to go to get data, upload files, and then this time I'm going to select an Excel file. Click upload and the second file in the, in the Excel format will be uploaded to my files folder. Unlike a CSV file, Excel files cannot be previewed. Preview is not available. 
At this moment, these files cannot be queried. We are obviously more interested in tables. There are a few different ways to change files uh, into tables and turn them into the Delta Parquet format. And in our next video, we will be looking at that. So please stay tuned. Until then, have a good day and I'll be talking to you later.